there's nothing nicer than taking a stroll along one of the UK's best riverbanks. Now, riverbanks and streams are of huge importance to nature and to the local landscape, but maintaining them to protect their longevity is often something that requires meticulous planning and constant evaluation. I'm here at Paper Mill Lock today, and I'm about to meet local expert Darren Tansley from Essex Wildlife Trust, who's very kindly offered to provide some of his expertise on the key concepts of riverbank management. So let's meet the expert. Well, Darren, thank you so much for meeting me. What a great location. What has Essex Wildlife Trust been doing in this location for the riverbank? Yeah, it was a little while ago now, about 13 years ago, that we looked at a project along here to restore the riverbank where it was eroding. We're also looking at other little projects along the river as well. But it was uh, one of those starter projects for me to really get involved with Essex waterways that manage the towpath along this because although it looks like a river it's actually a navigation yeah it's a river that is used for boating and that means that somebody has to maintain this pathway so how does that happen then from sort of idea or problem shall we say to an actuality what's the process of that I think first off it's finding some money. Okay. <laughs> Once you've got that in the bag, then you look at those sorts of areas where there's a problem with the riverbank. Some, you know, where it's tumbling into the water. Yeah. Great. Um, and what you want to do is try to avoid pouring concrete in there or with, yeah. you know, sort of iron sheets. You really want that natural look to the riverbank and it's it's great for animals that burrow in as well. So that's what we were looking for, sort of projects that we could do in a natural way that would work with the river while and against it. So what do you use then in, if you're not using concrete and steel? Yeah, it's, it's going to be all natural. It's <laughs> okay. uh, often willow stakes and then we put uh, these sort of bundles of hazel twigs in between lines of, of willow stakes and that creates this sort of solid quite solid bank yeah gradually what happens is that all erodes away itself it rots down and it just leaves the river bank as it was before i mean it's looking fantastic it doesn't look like it's had any sort of intervention is there an area that we might be able to see that's um, that, that you've been working on that you worked on before yeah i think there's, there's one really good one further down it would really be worth having a look yeah. at that it's so natural now okay well let's take a look yeah, okay. thank you Well, Darren, this looks so natural now. What a great job you've done. Is there anything that needs to be done to maintain this? No, really, this bank is stabilised now, so it's like any other part of the river. Yeah. I mean, it could erode in, in the future and in the way that any could, but at the moment, this is looking really good. It looks really, really promising. I mean, what did it look like before? There was just bare soil. We, we wouldn't be standing here because it had eroded so far out into this path wow. that you couldn't actually walk along here anymore. Yeah. So, you know, it totally transformed. It was really nice as we walked down, there was a lovely bridge. Tell us about why you put that in place as well. The, it was a very swampy area. Water comes off this valley and goes right the way across that area. And people were just getting stuck and it was also causing a lot more sediment to go into the water. Yeah. So a, a footbridge allowed people to get through, but also stopped that trampling effect. And now it's become green and it's all again stabilized that area. So sometimes you just need to provide that one route for people to get past yeah. and then the rest nature will take care of. So what about maintenance? Do you have to come and visit this uh, area every now and again or do you rely on the public to tell you if there's problems? Um, Essex Waterways would let us know if there was a really serious problem, you know, if some, something actually collapsed here. But generally speaking, once it's in place, it does it itself yeah you don't need to come down and and maintain it it's not like a structure anymore it's the river bank itself has just reasserted itself onto this environment yeah. and uh that's the way you want to work you want to try to work with nature yeah. rather than trying to force it into a mold that you know we would like to see it so in terms of the general public, you know, we can see some people coming down here now. What can we do to maintain riverbanks is there, or is there anything that we shouldn't do? I think just trying to avoid trampling the banks down too much. Yeah. We've all got that joy of seeing the water. But if you just keep going in down the bank on a certain area, then you yeah. are going to 
you know smash it down basically yeah and that then causes problems you know with erosion so just try and be gentle with the river banks you know enjoy it but don't you know don't break them down yeah well it's a beautiful walk so let's take another walk and and have a bit of an, an admire Oh, okay. Is this what you mean, Darren? These wooden stakes? Yeah, you can see there's a, there's a couple of lines of stakes and what would originally have been in there was uh, bundles of sticks, hazel sticks, and they would have stabilised the soil behind it. And gradually over time, they've, um, they've gone, uh, but the bank has remained and it's now really natural. So how long will this hold then? It's been here a little while already. Yeah, it's been there for 13 years, so uh, uh, there should be no reason why that bank just re remains now as it is. Um, and those posts will gradually uh, rot away, and they're perfectly natural. It's just the wire we need to remove. It's amazing to see the positive impact the restorative work has had here at Paper Mill Lock, thanks to Essex Waterways and Essex Wildlife Trust. We want you to enjoy walking in woodland and along the riverbank, but it's important to be mindful when walking our pets and consider the impact that our own footprints can leave on the landscape. If you do see something of concern along a riverbank, you can always report it to your local waterways department. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed watching today's video about riverbank management. Stay tuned for more videos from Woodlands TV. Thanks for watching.